Are we recording? Is it on? And we're live in five, four, three. Presented by Konami Entertainment Japan. Konami, is it in you? Got milk? That was pretty random. Got milk? What? That's, we should probably cut that joke out. Now, is there glare? There is a glare. Hang on a second. I will get rid of the glare. I activate glare store. This magic card automatically gets rid of the glare. By unscrewing the light. Ha. Huh. And that was funny. I was actually worried about spoiling some of the duelists. But yeah, you kind of see their pictures flash through there, right? Well, I guess... I don't know. Just depends on what you consider spoilers, right? Eh. Maybe I overthink things. Ah. Dark Magician versus the White Side. Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! WLR. Flat 14. Restarted the game and joined the White Rose side in order to help out Rosencruz, aka Sintel Kaiba's side. And in that battle, he battled versus Tan Gardner. Tab was no match for the power of Flooded Mod 14's cards and his deck. For Flooded Mod 14 believed in the heart of the cards and proceeded to take out Tab with no mercy. What will happen today? Find out now. <laughs> Always fun doing the announcer voice. Always fun. Oh man, I forgot my water again. Darn it. Every time, guys. Every single time. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to start the duel and get the water like while we watch an attack animation or something. So, what we want to do today is... I want to show you guys... Now, let's just go here to Custom Duel. Now, you may be saying, what is Custom Duel? Well, let's see. And listen to some of the best music in this game. I love basically all of the music associated with Custom Duel. Just, 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 just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Now, is that some pretty cool music or what? That's pretty cool, man. Oh, I love this game. All right, so custom. Um, let me explain things. First of all, you can see our. Well, I don't know if you can. Maybe you can see my finger. Can you see? My... Okay, there we go. So you have our um duelist information here: Serpentine Princess, Deck Leader, Reptile, the ranking, the life points. Now you can change these things. For example. If we go to SP, which is, is that summoning points? I think it is. Summoning points recharge rate. For example, if you move it up to four, then that'll change. So you'll get four stars every turn. Uh, keep in mind, this does not apply to the story mode duels, only to custom, if, if you change it. Um, but we're still doing tutorial stuff. So I think leaving it at three is actually a good idea just to, yeah, you know. Normally on custom duels, I don't really change this because, I don't know, I just feel like three's good, three's good. Uh, also, you have like LP, life points, and stuff like that. And now over here, you can see you have Deckmaster K. Now you may be saying, wait, what? Who in the world is Deckmaster K? What? What? Well, I'll explain things. So, go back, and let's just press ready. And let's just place a random map. So we're going to stop on the count of four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and this will be our map. So there we go. And there are a bunch of default maps, so that's why I just kind of, you know. And here it is, guys. More epic custom duel. It's a shame 
Some people have never heard this in this game because they only play story mode, man. It's like, are you kidding me? Listen to that, man. This is a great game. So, Custom Duel, um, uh, well, oh, let me go over this field really quick. Uh, so this field's not too hard. Uh, basically, it's harder on the white rose side because there's all of this squared, and we have yet to see this one, but this is Labyrinth. Um, most cards cannot travel through the Labyrinth. Also, your deck leader cannot move through the labyrinth, so that means, basically, in order to engage each other, I'm going to have to, long story short, move my deck leader probably about here, and then she will have to either summon cards and move out here, or move, like, here, and then, or here, and then summon, and we kind of meet in the middle here. Um, as far as other squares here, we have Mountain, Dark. So we have quite a variety, uh, Meadow, lots of Normal, which is good, because I like Normal, and Forest, don't get to see Normal enough, Wasteland, Sea, and what's this, Tune, Tune Squares, what, that, that, that can't be right, uh, that, that must be some kind of glitch, um, and Crush Squares, wait, Crush, what, I don't know, weird, I don't know what's going on with those last two squares, but, um, I don't know, maybe I'll look it up in between episodes. I mean, I doubt we'll have to chase her all the way over here, but let's just play for now. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Ah, okay. I'm thinking I could probably fuse a dragon and a machine to make, like, I don't know, something like Machine Dragon. I'm pretty sure that's an actual card. So I'm going to play this two-star. And it has an effect. Uh, it spell by, uh, pretty good. And so, yeah, next turn I'm going to try to fuse these two. Should be able to get something. Anyway, let's end our turn. And she is throwing away some cards. Ha! Huh. So this Deckmaster K person, what's really going on with them? Well, as you see, they actually have our same deck leader and ranking, which that's weird. Um, they also seem to have, oh, this, and also this, which we have in ours. Wait, wait, wait. Is this deck, is this deck Master K, like, copying us? Yes, and that is not, um, I'm not pulling your leg. Here in Custom Duel, if you have only one memory card in the player one slot and no cards in the other slot, uh, memory cards that is, you will be able to play against Deckmaster K. And Deckmaster K allows you to indeed basically have a practice duel against yourself. Now, um, I think. In the ranking challenge, I'm going to not allow, well, I'll probably allow like a handful of custom duels. Like, I'm thinking about five is a good number. And now here's why I say this. Think about it. Um, let's just take the magic cards in this deck, for example, the one we're practicing with. Uh, you know, like the Wasteland and some others, or even this, um, Power Up, yeah, increases by water. So, for example, if you were to play versus yourself, and this is the problem I have with, you know, allowing myself to do custom duels all the time. Um, if you were allowed to play yourself, you know, over and over, you know, an unlimited amount of times, basically, uh, you could, um, make the... Uh, ranking challenge that we're about to do, you could make it basically pretty darn, like, easy and boring. You see what I mean? Uh, I think we'll move you through first. And, uh, and yeah, that's kind of, like, I, yeah, don't get me wrong, maybe, hey, let me know what you guys think. Um, am I overthinking this? Yeah, maybe. I mean, if you guys want to vote, and like I said, or leave a comment, say, just say, hey, that's fine, you can do as many custom duels as you like, then, okay, I'll go with that, I'll go with the majority vote, but, 
just in my head, you know, the way this ranking challenge is supposed to go is it's supposed to be a challenge. And a challenge is supposed to challenge you. Wow. That's... Yeah. I, I mean... Okay. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna end my turn now. <laughs> wow. That, uh... Well, anyways, how are you guys doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Today is July 3rd, 2019, and, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit before the 4th. Uh, some people are popping fireworks tonight. Some people are just going to wait until tomorrow. I've actually been a better fan of doing, like, see, me, I went with a group of friends tonight on the 3rd, um, and we basically, um, yeah, popped them tonight because to me that makes more, um, now, I'm, I'm not, I mean, hey, it's the 4th, it's a holiday weekend, you can do what you want, but to us, like, a few of us are thinking about heading out of town, actually, um, after about 5, so we, you know, just kind of was like, ah, well, we want to hang out, so let's... Let's just do it right now, you know. None of us have to work tomorrow, right? And sorry if you do have to work tomorrow on the fourth. That that really sucks, and I that 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 sucks. I I feel for you. I really do. Um, I have had several jobs in the. Uh, wait, did she not attack? Oh darn it! Well, I guess that means I really won't get to use my effect now. Um. Ooh, 200. Uh, you know what? Should I do this? Sure. Let's do it. Okay, good. It's only your moon Goddard day. Well, with this, we're finally going to have a battle. And uh, I'll finish up my thoughts on the holiday when I come back. Because right now, I'm going to go get a drink. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got me a Pepsi. And I didn't even get to see Phantom's attack, but, well, at least I only took 700 damage, and that thing's gonna be spellbound for a while, so. <sighs> Man, that's good. So, yeah. Um. Do I have anything that confused with the excuse me with the spellcaster? Hmm. Let's see. Well, I know Thunder can, based on some of our other duels. Can Reptile? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I have three turns, right? Yeah. Tell you what. As much as I don't want to do it, we'll move everyone out of here. Move my leader in here. And then play something over this card. So, yeah. Okay. End of turn. Alright, you got me, Deckmaster K. You got me. You got me in a cone. Defense mode. And, uh, move it. And move it. And left. 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 Right. Left. Right. And I have all monsters. Uh, just gonna end the turn. Uh, but yeah, the holiday. Yeah, I have had jobs where I had to work. Like that holiday... You know, session or whatever. So, I mean, I do really, you know, uh, it's um, it's very. Uh, I think. Well, let's see if this fuses. No, I didn't think so. But uh, it's very un underappreciated, I should say. Um, people who have to work on holidays, and um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, some companies out here, man, they don't even, you know, even if you, let's say you do have to work on Christmas or whatever, you don't get, like, overtime. I think it's, you should, man, you know. If you're sitting there working on, let's say, for example, I'm not hating on anyone, but Walmart or Target. Let's say you're working there on Black Friday. I think they should pay that time and a half, man. Have you been in Target on Black Friday? Dude, they should pay, like... Time and three quarters, man. <laughs> Seriously, because 
I do. I could not be one of those cashiers. Oh man, my anxiety would just. Ooh, whew. I'm shivering just thinking about it, folks. I'm shivering just thinking about it. I'm about to ball up and. Just... Uh, oh, I guess I could have moved this far. No, no, because I want to move my leader out and move all these cards in. That's right. So, um, we destroyed her, Yormungarde, with our Yormungarde. Is that how you say that? Ah. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the turn. I guess we'll see what she finally fused over there. Now, um, another thing, as you see, she's fusing. And she basically has a mirror, this is basically a mirror match, where all of our cards are in her deck and all of her cards are in our deck. Well, this is why I like Custom Duel, because actually, I think what they could have and maybe should have done in this game would be like, okay, you must play like, three Custom Duels in order to play the Story Duels. Now, why do I say this? Well couple different reasons, but yeah, playing versus yourself is actually very informative, and as you saw, she like fused cards together. Now, let's just pretend for a second, I didn't know anything about this game. I didn't know, you know, the terrains, I didn't know the types, I didn't, I didn't even know, this is my first time ever seeing a Yu-Gi-Oh card, let's say that, you know, and I'm still trying to figure out the controls and the basics, well, one of the things you can do is by going to the graveyard here, R1, you know, you can go basically to the last two cards, two headed King Rex and Mysterious Puppeteer, and you can realize, oh, hey, these two are what she fused together to make that. And so, you know, you can kind of keep a track of those. You know, and you wouldn't even have to write these exact cards. All you would have to write for your fusion list would be like, oh, a warrior plus a dino make a sword arm of dragon, which is a dino. Now, something I don't think I fully explained as far as fusion goes, and I'm glad I'm explaining it now, because we're still, still in tutorial territory. Um, you see, this... This is the result of the fusion, right? It has 1750 attack points. Now, let's, um, for example, this dino that she used to fuse it, it, the fusion worked, obviously, but let's say this dinosaur had 1,900 attack. Okay, and she still attempted to fuse the warrior and this but it had 1900. The fusion would not work. Uh, why is that? Well, because in this game, basically the fusion product, I'm trying to explain this mathematically, the product of the fusion, aka the final result, um, the monsters used to fuse it, their attack stats have to be less than, or I think you can do equal to as well, less than or equal to you know, the final result. So, yeah, so it doesn't matter that, for example, um, you know, the warrior has a thousand. I don't think this would have mattered if the warrior had, you know, 250. I think the fusion still would have worked. Um, however, there are some fusions, some more advanced fusions, where, I mean, yeah, you're using certain types, but let's say... You know, one, one, like, like, I don't know. For example, Thunder Dragon. Okay, it's a Thunder and a Dragon. But if you use higher level dragons and higher level Thunders, you may get a result like a twin headed Thunder Dragon, which is stronger. Um, but if you use the lower results, you'll only get a simple Thunder Dragon, which is 1,600 attack. Um, that's the best example I can come up with for now. Uh, but let's just continue. Ooh, what effect. The turn count for Spellbound cards is not conducted while this card is in face-up defense position. Now, you may be wondering what this means. Uh, as I said before, the nature effects are some of the best effects in this game. And we're going to play this card for a very good reason. Uh, 
you may be saying, well, what does it mean the spellbound count is not applied? Well, I'm about to show you, actually. So, we're going to have Metal Dragon attack, and I am going to get a drink. Custom duels are fun, man. And you get to learn a lot about your deck. I guess that's my point. You should play custom duels every so often, you know, just to learn about your, your, your own skills and your own deck and your own, you know, play style, things like that. The more you learn, the better you'll be. And I'm going to get Spellbound here. Yep. Because when a wind attribute attacks a earth attribute, the wind monster gets spelled out. So there's another one for the list. Uh, eventually, we'll probably say them all out loud. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how this effect works, hopefully next turn. Um, and I'm going to use it on my own monster. Weird, I know, but um, that's the plan. So. And defense mode, that's good. That's good. That means you can't do anything. Now you see the SB count here is 1, right? Right here. Don't know if I ever showed that, but that's how you know how many turns left your monster is. I'm going to say paralyzed, for lack of a better word. So if we use this card's effect, yeah, the turn count is not conducted while in face of defense mode. So defense mode. Now this effect is working. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how it works. Ooh, we have a rock. Oh my gosh, a giant rock. It's a rock. Giant. Um, can I fuse? I feel like I can. What do we got? Spellcaster. Rock. I think I can fuse this and this dinosaur. I also feel like I can fuse this and this reptile to do something. Hmm, let's try getting rid of this. And I will fuse. Attempt to fuse this reptile and this rock. Yeah. Or should I try the rock? No, I'll try that. Yes. Okay. Okay. So the, there you go. A reptile and a rock can fuse, and they create. So there you go. If you're using the reptile deck, you can use a reptile and a rock to make megazaller. And wait, wait. Let's go back to that tune alligator. Huh, I thought I saw something there. Special info, strong in tune terrain. Wait, what? What? So you mean this terrain, there are some monsters that are strong here. Huh, that's interesting. Anyways, let's, uh, hmm, I wonder if that'll be involved later on in the LP. Question mark. Fuse. Jump. Ha! Uh oh, they made fat, tr fat, uh, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't think of the name, but they made fat, uh, go tanks. The one who's like, <sighs> running out of breath. Uh, so she fused a spellcaster and a zombie. I'm gonna guess that's Magical Ghost, 1300. So now we know what that card is, so there you go. And now, this card's effect. As you saw, this has only one turn left. But because I have Ancient Jar's effect working, yeah, it's basically frozen forever. Any card that's spellbound for even a turn, as long as you have Ancient Jar's effect working, it's basically going to be spellbound permanently. So this is actually a really really good effect never thought I'd say that about the reptile deck but uh yeah that's a pretty nasty effect so yeah if I were you in these custom duels I would get a, probably three copies of this ancient jar in your reptile deck and then focus on cards that you know spellbind you only for a turn you know because then you just you know spellbind five of the monsters and you know, hey, oh, they have five monsters on board, and they can't move them. So, I mean, from there, you're pretty much safe, because the AI is not really going to summon over their own monsters. I mean, they may run them over, like we saw here, you know, because she had a monster here and ran it over. They may do that, but they're never really going to do like this and summon 
something on top of it, you know, so. Uh, kind of a bug with the AI. There are several, uh, excuse me, there are several, you know, kind of bugs and, you know, tricks you can exploit. Uh, this is a spellcaster, do I have? Man, what to use this a spellcaster? I'm actually really weak on my spellcaster fusions. Uh, yeah, I don't know what fuses. Oh, I forgot to switch HDR to attack mode. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. Yeah, this duel lasted a little longer than it probably should have. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys how Ancient Jar worked. So, it's all good. In the hood. My viewers, my friends, subscribers. Subscribe. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -dun. Dun -dun -dun. What time are we at? 25 minutes? Okay, we can keep going. Alright. Metal Dragon. Oh, go. Metal Greymon. No, sorry. I think this thing looks more like Metal Greymon. Look at that. Look at that thing. Look at Cybersaurus. Tell me that's not Metal Greymon. Okay, okay, yeah, he needs the wings. And, you know. <laughs> Dude, anytime I make this fusion now, I'm gonna be like, Random Dino, Two-Headed King Rex, JJ Ball 2, Metal Greymon. Oh, man. Digimon was a cool show. Can I say that? Can I say that on the Yu-Gi-Oh! LP? Digimon was a cool show. Digimon, Digital Monster, Digimon of the Champions. <sighs> Change into a Digital Monster to destroy the Emperor of the NCs, Digital Monsters. Wait, will I get copyright strikes if I keep singing that? Probably. Hey, Dale! Thunder! High Fall Blast! I'm not sure what attack that would be. Would that be Spark? Nah, Spark's more of a physical attack. It looks like a special attack. Oh! Zap Cannon. You just use Zap Cannon. Good job, Magnemite! Good job! Dude, can you imagine if Magnemite evolved into Metal Dragon? Like, all those little links were Magnemites. Dude, that would be a cool... Like, look at that design. Imagine all of those being Magnemites. That would be a cool Pokemon, man. That would be cool. Oh, man. Shame no one's from uh, Game Freaks listening to this video. Alright, well, since none of our cards are spelled down now, we can switch this back. Turn the effect back on. But yeah, as you see, she's now probably should run. And I don't see why she's running over her own cards. Like, you have plenty of space over there, girl. Like... See, that's another bug with the AI, like, okay, okay, so she had a card here, she could have just moved it to the left, moved her leader to the left, summoned, still summoned here, and moved this up. I don't know, man, that is really just, like, what are you doing? Seriously. I don't know. Anyway, they fused Mystic Lamp plus Aquaman, oh, I'm not sure what that, would that make La Jin? The genie of the land? I'm gonna assume this card is 1800. I don't know for sure what the result of that fusion would be. Huh. Well, now I see why all these spellcasters are in the deck. It's because, um, yeah, because you have, like, Lord of the Lamp, and I guess that can, you know, fuse with stuff. But, uh, yeah, even if I move my. I was thinking for a second, should I move my leader back here? But even if I do. I can't, you know, uh, basically chip the game. Now, if this square was open, which I thought it was, you could move your leader here, and then by the time they retreat to the corner, you could kind of put one here and meet them, but no, nah, no, nah, this, is, this is a pretty um, straightforward kind of uh, map here, which uh, is quite good in some ways, but uh-oh, I have a feeling we're about to get wrecked. Oh, nope, the fusion kicked out, okay. It might be okay here. Yeah, okay. Wow, that could have been bad. So, what did she fuse at first? What? Ancient Jar and Megazal are fused. Wait, what? What do these two make? No, she fused Grappler and Ancient Jar to make... Okay, that makes more sense to make Megazal. And then she kicked it for whatever's face down. Grappler. 
So you fused your grappler, yet you kicked your grapp I that make move makes no sense, man. You'd have been better off with Megazaller in defense mode. Like honestly. AI, are you are you dumb? Do you not understand defense mode? If you had just put Megazaller in defense mode, this duel would be a lot more interesting. But no. Good job, Metal Dragon. You fly. Somehow. Well, I'll be honest with you folks. I did not think Metal Dragon would last until turn 82. I thought he would have died, like, yeah, quite a while ago. So, the fact that he's still up and kicking is pretty, yeah, surprising. But, uh, anyway, we're going to just try to wrap this ghoul up, and that should be the end of this recording session. So, Ah, power increase, eh? That may not matter, because now that we're on Wasteland, I shall get my Wasteland bonus. Whether, whether or not you know it's a thing, my metal dragon knows. Zap Cannon. Wow. <laughs> Who is this guy, Lord Raven? Look at this guy. Look at this, look at this weather, weather thing. It's like Lord Raven. Look at that, look at that. Tell me that's not Raven. I mean, yeah, it's a water type, so maybe it's a aqua raven. What would an aqua raven be? Ah, uh, you got me on that one. Leave a comment. Leave a good comment. What would a good nickname be for an aqua raven? And don't type weather because that is a lame nickname. <laughs> oh man, I'm having fun with this. All right, let's just keep moving through because why not? Yeah. Alright, what do you got? Well, I guess once we run into the water squares, Metal Dragon should be defeated at that point. So, let's see what happens here. What? Oh, trap card? Mm. Oh! Okay. And allow me to introduce you to one of the best power-ups in the game. Paralyzing Potion. Renders all machines other uh, all all machines renders all machine monsters I didn't forget, other than machine eternally spelled out. So what this means is okay if I didn't have Metal Dragon here and I moved let's say this card Mega Zeller, onto that I would have became infinitely spellbound in this square right here. So that's another very good card this that comes with. It. Yeah, I guess that's the upside of the Reptile deck, is it seems to have some pretty good magic and trap cards. Like, I mean, this is really good against pretty much every opponent you pick. Well, except for one. But yeah, that's a pretty good card. And um, as you know, guys know from the last tutorial duel, it came with a Wasteland field card, so... Yeah, I guess they tried to make up for the reptile, you know, uh, happenings with the magic of traps, which I kind of agree with, honestly. But um, one thing I do want to point out is that the base power of this deck, like the the the, the output of power, doesn't seem to be that high. I mean, yeah, we have twenty three fifty now. Because we're on the wasteland, but earlier we were just we were storming with a monster that has only 1850, and that's not very high in terms of power. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just not, you know. Um, so that's probably the most glaring weakness. Well, other than the terrain stuff I talked about last episode. Um. Hype butter devastation, but um, yeah, the, I mean, most decks, like I'm thinking of even some of the other starter decks, and by this point in the duel, by turn like what are we on 79, I could have easily probably put out something with at least 2,500. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is definitely a tough. 
that's it in terms of speed. Uh, you know, um, might as well put this in the fence. And in terms of power, and in terms of just, you know, some other things. Uh, so, yeah. But hey, I guess we're learning some fusions and some of the magic cards of the day, so. Oh! Metal Dragon finally goes down to, what's that? Practical? That looks like a pretty powerful monster. Let's see what it can do. Is that Barney the Dinosaur? Oh, man. Wow. Again, there's a Tail Whip that actually hurts. Actually does damage. That was quick. Nice. Good job, Barney. <laughs> Barney. <laughs> Makes me think of the Tristan Taylor. <laughs> <For some reason. laughs> Tonight, the thoughts of Barney Bar the Dinosaur will be played by Tristan Taylor. <laughs> I can't even do it with straight <laughs> straight things. Uh, but me thing, wait, this thing has 1900. <laughs> uh, let's check her graveyard. She put this on it. Oh, raise body heat. Ah, wait, it raises the power of dragon and... Wait, what? That says dragon and reptile, but this is a dinosaur. Raise... Okay. And if you go to power up card on a card, I don't think I went over that either, but you can see what equip cards work on it. Now it says Raise Body Heat works on it, but this says Raises the Power of Drag? What? I think that was supposed to say Dino. Dinosaur and Reptile. Yeah, that's gotta be a misprint in this game. Kind of surprising misprint, actually. Uh, but anyway, we had a card die, which is good, because now we can summon. And I'm simply going to summon. I'm simply going to summon Yashinoki. Effects, 500 life points. So that's all right. All right, and we shall end the turn. Well, she finally got to get enough monsters. So there you go. The only problem I think she's going to have, the Deckmaster K, is that she's only down to 11 cards in her deck, and we have like 20, 24 or so, so yeah, not going to be doing too good in that regard, so, okay, we'll switch this to defense, and do I have a trap card in this deck? I do not know. Another spellcaster. Hmm. I think I'll make another Cyber Dinosaur, but I'm going to make it right here, yeah. Power of Kaishin now. Oh, that's what I could do. Yep, this card is pretty high defense. Hmm, so I could, if last, worst comes to worst, right, I could play this on off of my door. And it would have 3,000 defense, wow. Um, but let's try to play offensively for now. So I'll fuse Machine and Dino. Agumon, Digivolve to Metal Greymon. Well, actually, I guess Greymon, Digivolve. Ah, yeah, so see, that would be wrong. I'm sorry to all the lovers of Digimon Digital Monsters that I got the evolution wrong. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, a double fusion? Double fusion, huh? Double fusion, huh? Nice. So that card is probably pretty powerful. Probably the most powerful fusion this deck can make. Most double fusions are, you know, pretty noteworthy, so we'll take a look in the graveyard after this. I'm sorry, Metal Greymon. I let you down. Oh no, he's he's reverting back to just Agumon now. Poor Metal Greymon. Oh, Pumpkin. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. So what she did is fuse. Uh, wait, what? She fused Yashi, Noki, and Truly. Oh, to make Snake Yashi. Okay, that makes sense. So, Snake Yashi, I get it, because Reptile, haha, ha, 
Reptile and plant make snake yashi. Ha, ah, get it. And that fuses with that to make puppy. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. So let's see if we can make a snake yashi. Nope, we don't have the reptile. But these two fuse, right? Like a spellcaster and this? I'm pretty sure those fused. Hmm. Let's see here. I don't know what the final result of that fusion will be. Will this be legit? I mean, it's good if it is, but... Hmm. Let's just try it right here. Hmm. Yeah, let's try this. So is this Legion or... Oh, it's Lord of the Lamp. Okay. And Miss... And wait, this thing boosts Lord of the Lamp, right? Ah, okay. Yeah, I guess you could try to get more of those cards. More Mystic Lamps and more Spellcasters. Uh, that's an interesting sort of deck right there. Mm. Yeah, it looks like we might have to go with the Aquamador thing. I mean, because I'm just not drawing the right cards. And, uh, yeah, she has 2400. Yeah, so that's pretty powerful. Hmm. I don't want Pumpkin to get up too high. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. Hmm. I may be outmatched here. Uh, what time are we at? 41 minutes? Oh my. Well, I guess we'll just keep going. Try to win, right? What's this? Hato did check. Gains, uh, oh, okay. Well, that's great, but it doesn't really solve my problem, now, does it? Um, wait. I should be able to make a pumpkin myself. Yeah. Hmm. So I have a spellcaster. Zombie. So I'm just thinking here. Spellcaster on the field. Oh, man, yeah, this Labyrinth's really throwing me off. Because I was thinking I could snake everything out. Well, I guess I still could. And make my own pumpkin. Because I would fuse this. And... Um, this to make magical ghosts. Then I would fuse it with that to make, yeah, pumpkin of my own. Which you may say, well, why would you want to do that? Because you would just boost his pumpkin. Well, I don't plan on actually using my pumpkin's effect. I just plan on, like, well, as long as he's going to be boosting, you know, all zombies, I might as well get mine boosted as well, right? Yeah, that makes sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, we're kind of on the retreating end. And this does happen with this game. It's not, again, if you have to retreat for a couple turns, don't worry about it too much. So it's only boosted two turns. So that's good. But yeah, if you do have to retreat like I'm doing, you know, hey, no shame. No shame in my game. Um, yeah, just, um, I would say when retreating, like, for example, I could have moved Cyberzors here and just started retreating everything right away when he was here. Uh, just practical. But I knew here it had a movement bonus. And so, for example, if you are retreating, which we are, you don't want this thing right now to be in a wasteland square. Or if it is, you want to play in defense mode because you don't want his speed to catch up with you, basically, is what I'm saying. So. Alright, we shall end the turn. Power increase, yummy. Alrighty. And Pumpkin 21. Still not too bad. We still have time to get over there. Um, overall, so... And let's... Oh yeah, I'm not drawing anything, am I? Because... Okay, so here's what we'll do. I really want to draw something next turn. So I'll move the magic... Mass Sorcerer there, and this should work. Yeah, there we go. Magical Ghost Talk! Okay. And as you see, zombies are actually powered down in the mountain. Very helpful to know, because I don't know what I'm going to do about this pumpkin. So, I might just have to run out the turns, dude. That's how, <laughs> that's how crazy this duel's gotten. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine? 
Yeah, this may be my first turn run out, man. No lie. Uh, we're gonna play that face up because I'm just gonna fuse with it anyway, so why not? Uh, and she just left Pragmatical right there for some reason. Okay, well, if you're just gonna leave it there, then I'm going to over. Nope, I'm going to summon. Ah, now I can make the snake Yashi, right? Uh, but do I need to? Ah, why not? So we'll make Snake Yashi, right? Yeah! That's a good fusion right there. And Snake Yashi fusion! Oh! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And <laughs> I think she may have made a mistake here, man, because... Yeah. Okay, yeah, stay there, stay there. Stay there. Okay. So, basically if I'm a pumpkin there, these two are tied. But what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna start skipping turns until her pumpkin powers me up all the way to basically enough to win, because I think if I keep Pumpkin face down and move here, she should move here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to skip, you know, 39 turns or so. Uh, might be kind of boring, so I may just cut this part out, and well, let me do one more turn to make sure she leaves everything the way it is. Let me just do one more. Um, maybe I'll draw something as well. Um, hit totem check. Now, you know what? Let's get rid of... Yeah, anyway, let's just get rid of this. Hit totem check, get out there. Alright, let's see if she leaves everything the way it is. And that's another thing about the AIs. If they're just leaving their cards the way they are, probably going to do it for quite a few turns in a row. That's another bug, by the way. Or I wouldn't say bug, but it's just the way it is. Magic card? Flame Ghost. Ah, that's right. Ah, a C square. I see. Okay, so now we have a way to take out Pumpkin. So for that reason, we're just gonna move through. <laughs> so I think that'll be quicker than, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Problem solved, folks. Problem solved. Okay. 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 So now that we have a way to kill her pup king, let's just uh follow me, follow me by entourage. And I don't have magic card. So I will wait for you. Machine fiends fiend. fiends. Trying to think. I don't think I have a fusion right now. But yeah, let's just see if you know, based on that situation, see, I moved here. So will she finally move here or go to defense mode? That's a good question. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, okay. So see, what I was talking about before, if we had just left everything and let Pumpkin, you know, kind of pump up all the way to just massive power, we could have just basically let her kill herself, you know, just kind of wait until this was about, you know, 4,400, this pumpkin, I mean 6,400, and just wiped her out in one blow, so that would have been cool, that would be cool. But uh, we're good now, so all of you go through, Lord of the Land. Uh, I'll probably keep Kaishin here, kind of got in the way last time. i probably keep that. You know what, I'm going to run over this card, we don't need this card. Sorry, you toad in check, and I will summon... And we'll play... we'll get rid of this. Uh, we'll get rid of this. And we'll play Practical. Wait, what? What? Those two fuse? Whoops. I did not know that. Okay, so apparently you can fuse a Aqua with, you know, about a thousand with Practical. And you can make... Um, this, which is one of the stronger dinosaurs. Rachel Rides, or, uh, 
Uh, oh, I guess it's supposed to be like Brachiodon. Okay, so Brachio... Yeah, Brachio Ravis, right? I'm just gonna say Brachiosaurus. That's what I'm gonna call it. What time are we at? Oh my goodness, about 50 minutes? Whew, should I end the episode here? Should I? Honestly, guys, I think I might. Because I need a small break. Ooh, I could use a little snack, so this is the current state of the game. I may just finish this off screen, or I may, hey, you know what, before we end this uh, by splitting it into two parts, we're going to have our Pump King attack, because I feel like it's been a while since I've seen a battle. In fact, there's been very few battles total in this particular duel. Kind of strange, but... Yeah. Alright, Pump King, use your future red breath. <laughs> That's right, growl. Growl those shame little tears. Future breath. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. I think the frame rate just like tanked right there. But yeah, I like the darkness field. As you can see, it's more, one of the more vivid fields of the game. Looks very like cool, man. Almost looks like the Shadow Realm. Yep, pretty cool. Alrighty, and um, so I'll probably put Kaishin onto this card, actually. Yeah, water, and yeah, yeah, that's that would be pretty good. So I'm gonna end my turn. Wow. 2600, huh? Doesn't matter if I'm king, I've got a plane ghost in the works. So yeah, let's play Kaishin. Power increase, yummy! And let's see what else we got. Ooh! <laughs> yes. Um, okay guys, so we're going to... Yes, we're going to end the episode here. But obviously I'm happy about the cards we just got. Um, but yeah, we will continue this in part two of the custom dual tutorial. And uh, yeah, it's crazy, but this was an hour episode almost, and we didn't finish. But hey, what can I say? Some of the battles in this game are long. Battles are long. Um, but we're still all learning, and it's all good. So, man, yeah, that, that aqua fusion really surprised me. But um. Anyways, I'm going to hit stop, and you guys all have a good day, and we will continue in the next episode to play more of Yu-Gi-Oh! To the Southern Roses. Floodmod14, signing out. Ooh. And pause.